Well, this is what we are going to make today. A roasted fish with a luscious ginger lemongrass piquillo sauce and grilled cashews. Hey, I am Bruno Albuz. Welcome to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. First, let me show you something. Have you ever tried to mince a shallot using a 10 and a half inch slicer? Well, at first you may think, this guy is crazy. <laughs> Most definitely. Split and cut off the root end and peel. Cut shallot vertically almost to the root end into thin slices, holding it with fingers to keep its shape and cut crosswise to root end. The closer the cut, the finer the shallot will be chopped. Simply let the blade to do the job. An effortless noon to six o'clock motion. See, how cool is that? Next, and for the garnishing, using rather a santoku knife, I'm gonna turn some red and yellow bell pepper into brunoise, a three millimeter or less dice. In order to achieve that, well, you gotta shave off most of the flesh, ending up with the desired thickness. Cut into thin julienne and dice. A brunoise should be consistent in size and shape, as this helps to create a pleasing and professional presentation. Toss white membranes and seeds and save the scraps for later use. To follow, I'm gonna chop uh, some lemongrass and ginger, much easier indeed. To give a nice touch-up to my dish, I'm gonna turn some piquillo peppers, which means little big, into a nice coulis. Piquillo peppers are rather sweet with no heat, which will balance out the spiciness of the ginger and the curry we are going to add to the sauce later. I am going to saute my shallots and lemongrass. Then I'm gonna throw in uh, my ginger and cook for a few minutes until fragrant. Deglaze with uh, some good white wine, such as Chardonnay, and reduce by half. Then I'm gonna add heavy cream, milk, and coconut milk. Cook down to syrupy consistency, then season with salt, curry, and turmeric. Pass through a sieve and set aside. Next, I am going to prepare and roast the fish. Here, halibut. Run the knife alongside of the spine line. Split in half if necessary and get rid of any remaining bones. To skin the fish, make a slit from the tail and place the blade of the knife at a 30 degree angle and pull the skin to release the flesh intact and do likewise with the remaining fish. Here I am using uh, the same knife I used for uh, the shallots, a 10 and a half inch sujihiki knife or a carving knife. Portion the fish and keep refrigerated. Next, I'm going to pan sear my fish in a super hot non-stick frying pan and finish in the oven. Season the fish with olive oil and salt the hot saucepan so that will create a non-stick effect. Seal the fish for five minutes on high and finish in the oven for seven minutes more. Serve this beautiful roasted halibut with basmati rice, bell pepper brunoise, piquillo sauce, and the ginger lemongrass sauce. To get this beautiful recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest at Bruno Albuz. Bon appétit, and see you next time. Mmm, wow, it's delicious.